Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in this lovely April 20th, I thought, you know what, we should just check out some Fashion Frame. You know, you want to see how I do Fashion Frame, and you know, my Protea fashion, along with maybe some other Warframes. Today is the perfect day to do so. God damn it, Protea, no. So, let's go check out some nice, nice Fashion Framing, and you know what, let me know what you think. So, as you can see... Protea is beautiful. When the new Tenno Gen came out, I got the Technocron helmet and skin, okay? That's base Protea, <gasps> that's Technocron, and this is the Telema helmet. I also like this helmet, to be fair. There's a lot of beautiful skins for her, but I definitely liked the Technocron the most, so I had to pick that up. It's also, oh, look at that, one other skin that you can grab there. Okay, I like the Technocron more still, so that's why I'm running that. She has unique jump animations, Protea, if you didn't know. Kind of like, uh, well, jump, dodge, call them what you will, right? Shift key. <laughs> kind of like uh, Zaku and what, Hildren and others, so yeah, that's why her flippy flips are really nice. And I just have the noble animation. You can have agile if you want to be more edgy boy, or noble if you want to just stand, I guess, question mark? Anyways, the general attachments, I have a... Uh, the, oh my god, there, Porta Day of the Dead chest plate. I just like how it looks, but her arm goes over it, so it looks kind of goofy. There's a ton of chest plates that I have nowadays, so I have more options at least, but that's what I'm running there. I have the Nabris arms, like the shoulders right on. They look kind of goofy. They don't look the best, but I like them because they're kind of batty. <laughs> and that's kind of it. There's a lot of great shoulders. I think Fractas are the shoulder guards that work well on literally everyone because they just they're just beautiful and they float over. But for her, I have the bat shoulders on from Nabarus. Little event in Warframe. Then I have the small little Etheria leg plates here just because they're kind of less noticeable. Uh, there's a lot of big, gaudy, gross leg plates that just don't work with Protea. Like, come on, what the hell is that? So, yeah, I chose those ones. It just makes sense to me. And since it's April, I still have my bunny Easter headgear on. That stays until it goes. And I'm just running the Vengeful Flame Ephemera right now. As you can see, I have a lot of Ephemera. I have a couple of random wings. Nabarus, Lotus, Path, Frostfall, right? There's just so many. But for now, I'm going to keep it on the Vengeful Flame Ephemera. Because, you know what? It's just a nice ephemera. It's just a nice ephemera. And then for sigils, yeah, I have random sigils, verb, verb, emblem, assassin sigil, right? Those don't actually matter too much. It's just the one I have on for whichever syndicate I have on. But of course, the Cyandana, the one that truly matters, is the Enthra Cyandana. Look at that. Cyandanas are one of those things in Warframe that uh, are peak fashion frame. I would say. There's just so many of them. They look so good. This one, look at, look at that, 10 out of 10. I like the purple I have on it, so this is what I'm keeping with it. Do the colors match? Probably not. Do I like them? Sure, so they stay. There's a lot of other cool, expensive type of signed Donnas, like too many. Look at all of them. Oh my god. Look at, look at that one. Straight up mech signed on, all right, for six dollars, seven dollars almost, right? There's some really big and gaudy ones, these are kind of like little fey wings, so yeah, keep that in mind. There's a ton, oh, more wings. Wait, there were way more wings in Warframe than I thought. What the hell? I didn't think there were that many wings, but there's, I, there's apparently a couple mech wings. Oh my, another wing set. When did all of these happen? My god, was it Tenogen or was it ages ago? Oh, this one's really cool too. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of really big, really fancy ephemeras. Ooh. And the fancier they are, sometimes they just cost money. And other times, there's just like really pretty simple basic ones like this with cool cutting at the end that just look really nice. And it's a Tenogen one, so you never truly know. Right? There's ephemeras all over the place. Some way more gaudy, some just nice, sleek. Some just chill, right? Look at that one. That one's less aggressive, right? More calm, but still very uh, regal. Yeah, I do like all of the wings. Oh, there's some more wings. So, looks like uh, Warframe is hitting peak wing fashion frame. Anyways, that's it for this little video. I just wanted to go over 
a little fashion frame, right? It was just a very calm video. I always just hit random colors, so I never really care to color things specifically. I hit random until it looks good. And then from there, I can, you know, randomize the Cyan Donna or the attachments themselves as well if I feel like it. So that's my chaotic way of fashion framing. I think it's the best way for us lazy fashion framing folk, right? And then you can just go like this, two for your weapons. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Sub, like, favorite. Just a calm video today. I just, yeah, I'm too out of it to exist in the ethereal realm of the world. So, small video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.